In this video, we're going to work through and find the exact value for the tangent of 75 degrees, and we're going to do so two different ways and then compare their answers and see what we have. All right, so in this first approach, we're going to look at using the sum identity for tangent. So we need two angles, A and B, that are easy to work with, because we're going to be taking the tangent of those values. And also these two angles need to add up to 75 degrees. So it seems like probably our best bet will be something like 45 degrees and 30 degrees. Okay, so we know the tangent of both 30 and 45, and we see that 30 plus 45 does indeed add up to 75. So let's go ahead and see what this expression is going to look like. All right, so the tangent of A, which is that first angle, 45 degrees, plus the tangent of B, that second angle, which is our 30 degrees, and then we're going to say 1 minus, and it'll be the product of those two. So tangent of 45 times the tangent of 30. Okay, so coming down here, let's go ahead and see numerically what this is going to give us. So the tangent of 45 is actually just 1, so I'll put a 1 here and here, and the tangent of 30 is the square root of 3 over 3. So for that numerator, I'll have 1 plus radical 3 over 3, and then for my denominator, it'll be 1 minus and then one times, so really it's just going to be this guy right there. Okay, it looks like we have a nice uh, complex fraction, so it's a fraction overall, but the numerator and denominator both contain their own fractions. So let's go ahead and get common denominators on top and bottom. So it looks like I'll have 3 plus the square root of 3 over 3, and 3 minus the square root of 3 over 3. Okay, so when we're dividing fractions, really we're multiplying by the reciprocal. So let's flip that guy over. So we'll have 3 minus the square root of 3 there. And what's nice is those 3's there cancel. So I'm left with 3 plus radical 3 for our numerator and 3 minus radical 3 for our denominator. But of course we don't like having this radical or this square root expression in the denominator. So let's go through the process of rationalizing our denominator. And in this case we'll do so by multiplying the top and bottom, or the numerator and denominator, by the conjugate of this denominator. And the conjugate just means let's change the sign in the middle. So we'll have 3 plus the square root of 3. Okay, why this is so nice is because now the denominator is set up as the difference of squares factorization, where we have the same terms, but one is minus and one is plus. So that will be a very nice multiplication. Okay, so for the numerator, it looks like when I go ahead and multiply these out, I will have 9 plus 6 radical 3 plus 3 when I go ahead and use that square of a perfect binomial formula. And down here, it'll be 9 minus 3. Okay. So let's go ahead and combine like terms, see what we have. So 9 and 3 will give us 12 plus 6 radical 3, and that'll be all over 6. So in that numerator, it looks like I can go ahead and factor out a 6, and those 6s will cancel. And so I'm left with 2 plus radical 3, and that will be the exact value for the tangent of 75 degrees. And in this first case, we went ahead and got this exact value by using the sum identity for tangent. And here, once again, is that value. In this second approach, we will once again be looking for the exact value for the tangent of 75 degrees, but instead, let's go ahead and use the half angle identity in this case. So we have here the tangent of some angle A, and that's being divided by 2, and we have this formula that it's equal to, plus or minus, and we'll talk about that here in a second, the square root of, and then we have this 1 minus cosine of A being divided by 1 plus cosine of A. Okay, so what should our value of A, in our case, be? Well, whenever I cut my value A in half, I get 75 degrees, so it seems like A needs to be 150 degrees, which, you know, is twice 75 degrees. Okay, so how about this plus or minus? Well, 75 degrees resides in the first quadrant, and tangent is positive in the first quadrant. So I will be considering this positive and ignoring the negative. 
Okay, so let's look at this now. I have the square root of 1 minus the cosine of 150 degrees over 1 plus the cosine of 150 degrees. Okay, so what is cosine of 150 degrees? Well, it's negative square root of 3 over 2. So I'll have 1 minus negative square root of 3 over 2. All of that will be over 1 plus negative radical 3 over 2. And of course, all of that is under a radical. Okay, so it looks like we have our work cut out for us to go ahead and simplify this. Uh, it looks fun, though, I think. Okay, so first of all, the minus and negative, that'll end up being a positive. And then let's go ahead and get common denominators while we're at it. This 1 will be 2 over 2. So it looks like 2 plus radical 3 over 2 for that numerator. And the denominator, when we add a negative, we can just say minus. And this 1, let's turn that into 2 over 2 as well to get our common denominators. So I'll have 2 minus the square root of 3 over 2. And all that is under that radical. Okie dokie. So when we're dividing fractions, remember, really we're multiplying by the reciprocal. So I'm going to flip this guy over, get the reciprocal, and do some multiplication here. And when we do that, we see, this is nice because those twos cancel out. So what I'll have is 2 plus radical 3 over 2 minus radical 3, and all of that is under that radical. Okay. Well, ignoring the radical for a moment and just looking at this radicand, we have this fraction, and we don't really like having the square root expression in the denominator. So let's go through the process of rationalizing this. So when we do so, we'll just change the sign in the middle. And so we'll get 2 plus the square root of 3. And let's multiply that on top and bottom. And of course, all of that's under the radical. Okay, when I do that, some nice things are going to happen. Because in the numerator, 2 plus radical 3 times 2 plus radical 3 looks like we have a perfect square right there. And in the denominator, nice things will happen. Because when I multiply these, I'll get 4 minus 3, which is 1. Okay. So, the square root and the square will cancel out, leaving me with 2 plus radical 3. And, of course, the whole thing's over 1, and the square root of 1 is 1, so I can just ignore that critter. So, 2 plus the square root of 3 will be the exact value for the tangent of 75 degrees. And if you recall from the first part of this problem, what value did I get for the exact value for tangent of 75 degrees? Well, yes, again, 2 plus the square root of 3. So we just saw two ways that we can get this exact value for the tangent of 75 degrees. One using the sum identity for tangent, and in this one we did the half angle identity for tangent. Both of them yielding the same value, 2 plus the square root of 3.